And you know what? It doesn't matter because the lesson, the lessons that are learned in the Christian Bible create an overall defining factor, defining principles that while embodied into a human psyche holds precedence in humanity. So basically like all the principles and all the universal truths that come out of the Bible, the overall, because you know the word light, meaning good, shows up in the Bible like 6,000 times, you know. So basically, you know, people are like, oh, religion's fake, it's all fake, and they try to find, they try to nitpick the individual stories and say things are impossible. Doesn't matter. If Jesus walked the earth and that happened, so be it. But regardless of that fact, Think about it. The universal truths in the Bible and all the lessons and, 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 and defining principles of, of the Christian Bible, which includes the Old Testament and the New Testament. And the Old Testament is the first testament of Judaism and also the first testament of, of uh, Islam. Of, of, of Islam. Of, uh, what is it? It's called uh, the Muslim religion. Oh man, I know this. It's called uh, is Islamic, the Islamic Bible. Um, is, hmm. is that right? It's called Islam? It is not, right? Anyway, so basically the Jewish Bible and the Muslim Bible, it's called Islam, Judaism, and Islam, um, and Christianity from Christ. The first testament is the same in all three of those. Now, if you take the defining principles of Christianity, the Old Testament and the New Testament, what you'll find, if you embody those principles, you have, that's the Christmas, that's the Christian spirit, which is also the Christmas spirit. So, regardless if it's a, if it, it doesn't matter if it's all made up, there's a reality that is real to humans, to humanity, which is the overall principles, like I said six times now, which creates the Christian spirit. And when you embody that Christian spirit, it's amazing. I mean, I don't know if anybody's done it, but it's amazing. It can, it, it really has, it's so powerful. You know, it's a combination of, of, of peace, love, joy. It's, it's amazing. You know, it's really amazing. And, uh, you know, regardless of what it does, this, that, and the other, it has a real effect on the human psyche and a real effect on human behavior. I mean, um, but then again, that's just my take. So, like, I feel I don't I don't, I don't like it if people try to force religion on me. You know, they want to force their beliefs on me. I don't have beliefs. I never. I don't have any beliefs, religious or otherwise. So, it, religion to me is it's all hope and faith. Religion is the explanation of the or explanations of the unknown, the unknown. So why would I believe, or why would I have, a religious belief is nonsense, because a religious belief, it makes no sense. Religion is explanations of the unknown, which means they're explanations of things that you don't know. So how can you believe and understand that you don't know at the same time? You're coming up with this explanation of the unknown, but you're saying it's true, but it's the unknown, it's things that are, that are unknown, you don't know, so how do you know it's true? So to me, religion is just hope and faith, really. And, uh, and I, I feel people should have their own, you know, have the right to have their own connection, you know? I'm not trying, I don't want, I don't want to force anything on anybody, really. But uh, I tell you, I was at the mall yesterday. The mall is filled with people. I mean, it was like, the, every, like every single parking spot, the whole thing was just, just Filled with people, every aisle, back, all the whole thing, right? And I'm walking, just exercising, waiting for my movie. You know, I got there a little early to so see my movie. And uh, walking around, there's people, everybody's rushing around, and they're trying to do this and do that. And, you know, the people just standing in the middle of the aisles. And I'm walking around, and I'm sitting, I'm walking. It was so much commotion. I'm walking around, and I'm, I'm rapping. <laughs> I'm, I was, like, rapping under my breath, a bunch of Wu-Tang lines. Because I listen to Wu-Tang all the time. And uh, I'm just, I'm like in that, you know, in that state, you know, that kind of like, you know, and uh, 
I'm, I'm walking and uh, I start hearing this singing. And I was like, what is this singing? And as a, it sounded horrible. It sounded really horrible. Like they, had, like they were real bad singers. But as I got closer and closer, I thought, hold on, let me embody Christ and see if I can't let, let fill, the, fill this area with my spirit. And maybe, and it was the craziest thing, maybe a coincidence, but I got to a certain point and I started, I, I, I started to embody the Christian spirit and I started to absorb the, the, their singing and it started sounding better and better and I come to a complete stop and I just stood there and I was totally filled with the Christmas and Christmas, the same thing, the Christian Christmas spirit. They started sounding so good. Like, it, they, it, all of a sudden, everything, it was like, they were like the best singers in the world. It was, it was, it was wild. It was, it was quite an experience, man. I tell you. And then, uh, I was like, people might get scared because I'm just standing here. But there was people just standing there all around. But I was like, so like, then I like, I like walked to different places and stood. And I went upstairs and I listened. And they were singing different Christmas songs. And it was crazy because I was in this, I was in this hectic state walking through the mall singing Wu Tang songs and like, like you know, and uh, exercising. And then all of a sudden, bam! This Christmas, this church was there and they were singing Christmas music. And all of a sudden, I embodied the Holy Spirit and I embodied the Christian spirit, the, the Christmas spirit of Christmas. And uh, I just came overwhelmed with with peace, joy, and love. It, but it was in a silence kind of. It was like it's a silence kind of state. Like it was like, and like it was the wildest thing, man. They, they, they're singing it's like as, as the closer I got, the closer I got, it started sounding better and better and better. It was wild. I tell you, it was wild. But I mean, it was it was cool though. Cause it was like wow, you know. So I suggest that uh, go out there and find somewhere. And, Find, sing some Christmas songs with a group of people, you know, and, and try to embody that, you know, whether it, you know, I don't know if you're a Christian and you like to embody the Christian spirit, you know, um, it's quite a thing, you know, find a church and go sing some Christmas carols, it's really uplifting. It's very uplifting, really. I want that guy to win that's going to give everybody $1,000 a month. That's who, that's who I want to win. <laughs> he ain't going to. I don't think he's going to. I don't know. Like, basically, like, I think Trump needs to stay in office. I think he does. I don't know. I don't really know. I, you know. I have no opinion, to tell you the truth. I don't have enough information to really tell you what I think about politics. You know, I, I'll be honest with you. Um, I'll be honest with everybody. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm a clear-headed human being, and uh, I understand that there's so much stuff that I don't know that's going on with the government and the world. How can I, how can I support anybody or dissupport anybody? I understand that really. I have, I can have an opinion based on little pieces of information that most of them are probably fake that come on my TV and that I see on Facebook or on the internet or whatever. But really, I can't take sides. I, you know, basically, when when I look at when I look at politics, I go, hmm, all the good in the Constitution. That's what I support. The good in the Constitution. Hmm, I support good things. I support things that help people and make things better. <laughs> you know, like I, I say, oh, I want this guy to win. No, I'm just I'm just kind of just kind of exaggerating, kind of a rough understand. It'd be cool that you know if somehow no matter who is president, that. What is it? It's called something like a, it's like a, I forget what the term is for it, but it's like a, I don't know, but I'll tell you what, if I got an extra thousand dollars a month, my life would be amazing, amazing. Wow, that'd be awesome. Have a holly jolly Christmas, the best time of the year. Say hello to friends you know. Everyone you meet. Whoa, oh, the mistletoe hung where you can see. Somebody waits for you. Kiss her once for me. Have a holly jolly Christmas. 
the best time of the year. Have a holly jolly Christmas this year. <laughs> Have a holly jolly Christmas. It's the best time of the year. Say hello to friends you know, everyone you meet. Whoa, ho, the mistletoe hung where you can't see. Somebody waits for you. So what's for me? I, th I, I think I'm going to start using hair moisturizer and hair gel. Actually, like, make my hair look decent. So I don't look like some scrunchy person. Because when I do that, when I wet my hair, I swear it just, it, it looks better. I don't care. This is all going to evaporate. There's little drops of water. I got a good floor. See, when I, when I, you can't even see me anyway. This, with this light probably. But, I mean, I, I, I was getting my hair cut real short for a while. I just, it looks so much better. It's so much, like, with, I get so, I can get some kind of moisturizer, some kind of, like, some kind of gel that doesn't make it solid, but just thickens it, kind of, and, like, kind of gives it a little body to it, you know? I might go to a professional, uh, I might go to one of those professional um, salon people, you know, and get some advice, like, because I have a lot of gray hair, so I'm like, you know, maybe I should, like, see what they recommend, and whether I should dye my hair. I'm just natural, like, you know, right now. Like, maybe, like, you know, how, I, some way where I should, like, I don't know, man, they got beauticians and stuff, you know, for men, too, you know. They, you could probably go to any salon, and they could hook, hook you up, you know. They could, they could, like, you know, figure out a hair color, and, like, you know, how you want to style it. Like, I want, I want some kind of hairstyle where I don't have to cut my hair, like, every couple weeks, you know? Like, I might just let it grow for a while. And then, like, I don't know. Everybody tells me not to dye it, but... Say hello to friends you know, everyone you meet. <laughs> Whoa, hold the mistletoe, hung where you can't see. Somebody waits for you. Just a once for me. Ah. Have a holly jolly Christmas. It's the best time of the year. Grandma got run over by a reindeer. Coming home from my house Christmas Eve. You can say there's no such thing as Santa. That's me and Grandpa, we believe. I don't remember the rest of the songs, hold on. Silent night, holy night. All is calm, all is bright. Brown young virgin, mother and child. Holy infant, so tender and mild. Sleep in heavenly peace. Sleep in heavenly peace. Oh man. Yo. Christmas is like what? Not tomorrow. Christmas Eve is in two days, and Christmas is in three days, so, hold on, so, let's see, not tomorrow, not the next day, so it's two days, two days and five hours, Christmas is two days and five hours, Christmas is two days and five, two days, no, no, <coughs> I went to Mervo, and I had a, my my uh, my singing teacher. She uh, she was good friends with Cisco. Cisco went to, got the got the famous person Cisco, the R and B guy. He went to Mervo too, and uh, he she they were they were like good friends and stuff. And like I still remember I I learned music when I was a little kid in elementary school. And like they, they all through school they were teaching it, but I remember Miss Neal. And uh, 
We would all think we would do this. Do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do. Do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do. Do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do. It actually makes a difference. If you do the do, re, mi's and you do them like, like you know, a couple times, like do them like, I don't know, I don't really know how many times, but even if you just do it a couple times before you sing a song, your, 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 your mind can make transitions to different tones a lot better. It like, it kickstarts your head to be able to meet different tones. Do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do. So, do. Uh, you got, then you, then you remember, get your memory, you drop down the so, then do. Christmas songs. They, can you rap? Is it possible to rap Silent Night to make it like a rap song? Now, if, if you, here we go. Are Christmas songs considered Christian music? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, they have like Christian heavy metal, Christian rap, you know, Christian rock. <laughs> Is that, it's crazy, man. Yo, silent night, the holy night, all is calm. It'd be like silent night, silent night, holy night. If I put, I, I, I gotta, I gotta get some kind of like a, like a beat maker or something. I got a keyboard. Over, I can't figure that keyboard out. I, I, I didn't. I, I looked at it for like ten minutes and I was like, man, there were all these buttons on there. I couldn't figure it out. People can't do that. I had, I had like all this garlic in the pot. It was, a, it was, it wasn't a whole lot, but you know, it was like filled the pot with my, it was like that much, you know. And uh, I just put it on my tongue and then just swallow it all at once. It's crazy. Some people can't do that. They say, but I sometimes I'll have like a big, huge pile of garlic and it'll, it'll like fill my tongue and I'll just swallow it right down all at once. It's called good health. Thank God. You know, you, they taught me when, when I was in high school, you know what? I, it's funny because when I was in elementary school, they taught me the word. It's called boasting. I learned it in elementary school too. It's called boasting. They say boasting is a bad thing to do. They, it's like, you know, be humble, you know? 
like there's there's like a, there's there tends to be a, a, a element of of humping humble that is good for it's good you know I would, th I would think it's mostly for safety right like like people bragging like people might get mad and then like have animosity or whatever like and they might try to hurt some you know they get you know, oh bragging man. Grandma got turned over by a reindeer Coming home from our house Christmas Eve You can say there's no such thing as Santa But as for me and Grandpa, we believe Grandma got turned over by a reindeer Cool, and your human biology can actually not only you know, like you like you imagine that this Holy Spirit, this Christian Christian spirit, you know, the, this Christmas spirit kind of thing. You would think that like you know it doesn't require a biological state, you know, but the biological state connected to it and how that makes you feel and how it centers you and it motivates you to do good. To, you start to find value in being good and doing good things, you know? And, uh... I guess you could have support upon the principles of the Christian spirit without the physical manifestation of that, 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 that peace and love and joy that, that, that's connected, that you feel, you know? It's always good to be able to, to feel that, like that, that it's so powerful. And that's kind of how it connects. I mean, there's still like, you can have that opinion that you support those, those principles and you could go out there and you could, you could use those principles and help people and do good things. But I'll tell you what, when you can manifest that physical reaction, you know, it's like, it's, it's real ecstasy. It, it's not like that pill on the street, you know, it's, it's, it's true, healthy, and, it, and, it, and it, it's not drug-induced, and it lasts for, it can last forever, you know? Um, it's not like you're taking some street drug, you know? True ecstasy is, is, is something that comes from natural chemistry, you know? And I'll tell you what, that, the Christian spirit, when you embody the Christian spirit, it, it's, it, it's true ecstasy, really. It's, it's a kind of peaceful, like, joy, like, just love. But, re but respect and, and honor and kindness and, and uh, humbleness. It's, it's, a, it's a state of... And I tell you what, you start to forgive people. You start to, you start to love humanity. You start to... Things don't bother you. You're like, you know... Christmas time is here, have no fear, drink some beer, ha! drink some beer, have no fear, Christmas time is here. Yo, as you feel your contemplations of the Christmas spirits and your resignation of feelings inside your sensations, your brain, your body feels the Holy Spirit like you're insane, but you're not insane. You feel peace and love in your heart from the start. Don't get, yo, go 